hi guys welcome back to the channel and welcome also to the torchlight infinite twight mirror season and today i'm gonna show you my day one to showcase my torchlight infinite yuga ring of ice auto bomber well as you know yuga uh would only use a spell in order for use for him to use his uh illusion uh to cast the main skill which is the one that we have which is ring of ice now you probably wonder why it's auto bomber we're not gonna be using basically a channeling skill here because we will be using spell burst uh to add to our damage but we will use of course our uh, space-time illusion to cast the spell instead so you can actually go still to ring of ice without using the uh, path of flames that you can see on the skills uh, screen right now but i just find it more you know chill i would like to have a more chill fl uh, play style similar to the one that I, I build my first league starter which is rehan if you haven't watched that i will put the link in the video description uh, i really aim to just chill play style you know just running around you know and just killing the monsters that's actually what i'm trying to do all right so let's just jump into the build so let's start with the gears that we have so of course this is just a starter this is my day one i have been busy for last two days that's why I, I wasn't able to create this as early as possible but let's talk about the ones that i have i i got this from my previous um character or hero which is rehan i just put this here uh in order for me to add at least uh some energy to add more skills and also it has cold damage to start and mana regen per second as well and cold resistance and also it has the ability to have blind uh, level 3 blind for nearby enemies i put an omniscient prototype as a starter because it has energy of 108 easy to put more skill slots very powerful starter um just ignore this <laughs> it has nothing to do with the build i just put this here because it still has resistances and max life uh, ice pulse as a starter is really cool because it can inflict frostbite resistances and has spell damage of 33 percent and as well as so convert 50 percent of mana to mana cost to life cost so it's a great starter to have uh, for Arcanist belt, I just simply had this on my disposal. I just add it here. Uh, it still has elemental damage and energy shield. So it's a good way to start this build at level 21. I put Wheel of Flight uh, because I don't have any shoes that I have uh, that has energy. So it has 40 energy as you can see here. And it has um, cold damage uh, per attack per intelligence. And also it's the 30 movement speed is really helpful for us to clear the maps uh, for the rings this is actually what i just have if you don't have then just simply have any uh any normal rings that has elemental damage or cold damage and some resistances too similar to this but if you have this it's still good it still has a lot of uh, mods that you really need to start this build I start this with Wraith Ban with Glacier Shield. With Glacier Shield, basically it has uh, 56 uh, Energy Shield and also the Energy Shield that we need. And of course, it has Mana, as you can see in Mana Region as well, and Spell Critical Strike rating for every 43 uh, 3 max Mana that we have. Because this is a Mana Stacking Build, guys. This Mana Stacking Build. Okay? So for Wraith Ban, aim for the... Uh, spell burst damage and uh, as much as possible mana and cold damage and spell critical strike rating i'm probably gonna craft this one to a much stronger one but <coughs> excuse me for the glacier shield probably this is gonna stay and the rest i would gonna change that soon okay again this is only for the day one then let's go over to the skills of course the main skill is the main skill of the space time illusion that you will be using which is a ring of ice with freeze chance critical strike uh, damage increase uh critical strike rating psychic burst for uh, spell burst overload uh for additional damage for focus blessing there you go and then our path of flames simply we need path of flames to stay within the space-time uh, uh circle in order for us to utilize the buff 
that it gives to our character together with the space-time illusion uh, it's up to you if you're going to use frigid transmission i just want this uh, speed phantom because it has a you know reverse knockback and slow to nearby enemies and you can actually gain 2.5% uh, spell damage and it can uh, stack up to 8 times and it could last 3 seconds it's another buff that you can consider uh, of course for secret origin uh, for the cast speed which you have uh, you know focus blessing uh, mana boil of course for increased spell damage for the auras we have energy fortress for of course our energy shield uh, you need mana, mana re, uh, source together with rejuvenation in order for you to regen your life and mana all at the same time for cast speed for the thunder spirit and our cursed uh, we have init curse with biting cold swiftness for movement speed and uh, seal uh, conversion to add more skills and for euphoria on hit we have fixate rigid domain and steadfast for us not to die quick and then next to our talent of course we have goddess of knowledge to start with the beacon and then we have insight for the spell damage and this is what i have basically this is again mana stacking so we will pack much mana as uh, we have and i put in a sealed mana in order for me to put more auras there and spell damage too it's not yet complete and then on the second talent we have magister with bunch and we have play safe here and this is the magister uh no nodes but this is not yet uh complete of course we're still leveling last on our talent would be um arcanist um probably i'm gonna put full load and i will just got uh frostbitten as my uh, divinity states but it, uh, it's up to the market how much is the cheapest among the two but basically i'm gonna switch this either frostbitten as my talent or full load to my divinity slates and then next is extreme coldness or mind uh, mind focus but probably i'm gonna go to mind focus because it changed the base of uh, focus blessings to add cold damage so as much as possible we're gonna add more focus blessing on our divinity slates or probably on our gears at some point okay this is the one that we have i haven't finished the one that it's in here for the divinity slates i haven't crafted anything but of course i focus on life regen um of course regen and max life as you can see and mana regeneration not phenomenal i just ha put what i have here just put in everything that i have so far from a previous um character okay and then next is the hero trait i choose this one of course we don't have a choice um field effect because it has 20 percent additional cast speed and uh, spell damage uh, by the space-time illusion while you're inside the twisted space-time that's why we are walking using this uh, path of flames in order for us to make sure that we still within the field effect of the twi uh, twisted space-time and arcane uh, contact of course again while you're inside um, it will reduce the, ca the mana that you have based on your main skill and each time when your space-time illusions uses mana recently it can add eight percent additional spell damage for you and it can stack to up to 40 percent okay and probably um choosing which one but probably i'm gonna choose this uh for now i'm i'm still on the trial period and um this this actually what we need so far you need to have this uh, mods 28 percent uh, cast frequency and max spell burst and every 20 space time energy you have when using main skill twisted space time chance to trigger main skill again so it's much as possible we need to focus on the cast uh cast speed of your space time illusion this um hero uh, memories i'm gonna change this i just put whatever i have on my loot in the nightmare so i have a good one still but it will change soon as well and then for the pack spirit uh i oh i always go to the resistance um pets just like elemental resistance damage mitigation and experience bonus 
uh, as you can see i put experience bonus here in order for me to level up quick okay that's the full build for day one of my torchlight infinite yuga ring of ice auto bomber make sure to subscribe to get more update about this build and also torchlight infinite builds guides and updates thank you again so much guys for watching until the end and see you on our next video